Afraid and coming forward? Yes. I'm probably still afraid. I just decided that enough was enough. Tonight, these women of the NYPD are breaking their silence. Recently retired officer Simone Teagle says after the birth of her son, she was expected to pump breast milk in this room in the 113th precinct. She recalls it was filled with trash and it smelled. Filth, dirt, mold, asbestos. Officer Viviana Allende works in the Central Park Precinct. She chose to go on family leave after the birth of her twins instead of asking for the time she needed to pump breast milk during her shift. I was very scared to come to work and make it an issue that I was a mother and I needed this. Allende and Teagle are part of a new class action lawsuit against the NYPD. They claim in various precincts since 2007, new moms were not given appropriate lactation areas and even faced ridicule from supervisors. Eric Sanders is their attorney. Have emotional distress, mastesis because they have pain in their breasts, infections because they don't get to express milk on a consistent basis. At Brooklyn Borough Hall, officers Teagle and Allende stood together together this afternoon. Borough President Eric Adams called for an audit of the NYPD's treatment of new mothers. Councilman Robert Cornegie said it's time the NYPD comes into compliance with all laws requiring lactation accommodations. These NYPD officers hope their lawsuit will spark change across the NYPD for all mothers. It's a biological necessity. We feed our children. After the uh, lawsuit and today's press conference, the NYPD sent PIX11 a statement saying the NYPD is committed to providing its employees with appropriate accommodations to express breast milk privately, comfortably, and in close proximity to work. Requests to express breast milk are presumed granted upon request to meet the immediate needs of the employee. Reporting live outside One Police Plaza this evening, Ayanna Harry, PIX11 News.